So you want to lose weight very fast. Sino ba namang ayaw, di ba? Today, let's talk about crash dieting and why you always fail and you cannot just sustainably lose weight when you crash diet. Now, what is crash dieting? Crash dieting means you're trying to lose significant amount of weight in a short period of time by eating dangerously low amount of calories. But before we move forward, let's try to understand a very important concept called the basal metabolic rate. Your basal metabolic rate is the amount of energy or the calories that your body needs so that you keep on breathing, to maintain your body temperature, so that your heart keeps pumping blood. It's basically the energy that your body needs just to stay alive. Assuming you have no activities, you have zero exercise, assuming that you are just sitting on the couch all day. There are so many resources in the internet where you can calculate your BMR. For example, you are a 30-year-old woman who weighs 60 kilos with a BMR of 1,400. If you don't do any exercises at all, you just sit on your couch all day. If you eat 1,400 calories, you will not gain nor lose fat at all. You would be able to maintain your body weight because you're basically just feeding your body the amount of calories that it just needs just to survive. For example, we have a woman called Petra. She's 30 years old. Now, she is very frustrated about how she weighs, how she looks. Now, she suddenly wants to lose weight very fast. Now, this is Petra's hypothetical chart. So, for example, she weighs about 60 kilos and she has about 30% of body fat and she has about 42 kilos of muscles in her body and her BMR is about 1,400. Now, she decides to go in a crash diet where she was able to successfully lose weight of about 10 kilos in just 3 months by eating dangerously low amount of calories. Probably she's fasting. Probably she's eating less than 800 calories per day. But take note that during the very fast weight loss process, her body burns both fat and muscle. Now, let us understand what is happening inside her body in this very quick weight loss process. Now, muscle burns more calories during rest compared to your body fat. It burns about three times more calories, for example, if you are just resting. Okay, if you have more muscles, you will burn more calories even at rest. You will have higher BMR. Now, during your crash diet, you lost significant amount of muscles, which means that you also lowered your BMR. Now, going back to our hypothetical table, now, for example, before the crash diet, you weighed 60 kilos. And then during the crash diet, you were able to lose 10 kilos. And so definitely during the weight loss process, you also lost some amount of body fat. So you ended up at about 25% body fat. But remember that you also burn some muscles. So you also reduce your muscle mass from 42 kilos to 38 kilograms. Because you lost some muscles, you also ended up with a lower BMR at 1,250. This BMR, of course, you are tired because you are not feeding your body enough. You are not fueling your body with enough food. So you are not exercising. So for example, you are just eating 1,250 calories. You would stop losing weight and you will not gain your weight back. You would stay at this weight because this is your BMR. So definitely, if you start eating the way that you were eating two months before at 1,400 or above that, you would definitely start gaining your weight back, which is exactly what happened. Now, let's go to phase two of your dieting, the hunger and the rebound phase. Now, because your body is technically starving, you experience more hunger, you are more irritable, your mood swings are over the roof, and up to some point, you would start eating again. So let's try to understand what is happening inside your body. Your leptin decreases. Leptin is the hormones in your body that signals your brain that it is full. And your ghrelin increases. This is the hormone that signals your brain that your body is hungry. Because you're technically starving yourself, of course, your ghrelin increases and you are like, girl, hungry, like hungry. And there are also psychological effects, like you feel deprived all the time. So definitely you would start eating again because your body screams for food. And then we go to phase three where you regain all the weight back simply because you just cannot sustain your diet. Now let's look closer on what's really happening inside your body when you gain all your weight back. Remember that during your crash diet, you have lost some muscles. And take note, muscles are very hard to gain. Unless you are eating enough protein, unless you are exercising, you are lifting weights, you will not gain your muscles back. So when you gain your weight back, you are going to gain mostly fat. Because fat 
is easier to gain. So when you go back to your 60 kilos weight, you will end up with a slightly higher body fat than you were two months ago. And you would definitely have less muscles, let's say 39 kilos. Less than the muscles that you had before you started your diet. So, so you will definitely end up with less BMR, say 1,300. Imagine you get frustrated again and you want to go back to crash dieting. What will happen in your body? So you would have less energy, you would have less muscles to start with, and you have significantly less BMR to start with. Meaning if you want to start dieting again, you would need significantly less amount of calories just to lose weight. Your body will have lower BMR to start with, so your body would burn less calories during the diet. So it's going to be harder to lose weight the next time. So imagine if you allow your body to go back to this cycle over and over and over again. So what is the takeaway? Take your time when dieting. Don't try to lose weight too fast. And number two, eat enough protein. And number three, exercise, do strength training because you would want to preserve as much muscle mass as you can while you are trying to lose weight.